Hey, what up? Uh, today we're doing a uh, helmet review. Also, we'll be reviewing a um, PVC gun rack I made. Uh, PVC. But first, let's get to this uh, helmet. This helmet is from Gen X Global. I uh, um, first of all I want to thank my paintball store at the shack here in Lompoc, California. Uh, I pretty much get everything from TrinityPaintball.com, but I put my orders through them that way. If um, I don't like anything, whatever, they always take good care of me no matter what. But uh, anyways, this helmet all alone um, doesn't have a real uh, chin strap per se. It's like under the chin, you know. So by itself, it's kind of a goofy little helmet. But uh, with your mask on, um, uh, it rocks pretty good. I used the V Force. I forgot the name of the uh, this mask. Um, I believe it's Profiler, but I think I'm wrong. But anyways, I rock this mask that's uh, from V Force. I wear glasses, so I really like the uh, deep foam padding in it. Um, lens is real easy to change and clean. I'm currently wearing the uh, smoked lenses. Uh, once I have my mask on, the helmet just pretty much it uh, pops right in. Just snap it in, and um, you're right. It's pretty solid. You can run up there with it. It looks pretty good. It gives you a whole SWAT-like feel. Um, I'm currently in it's five o'clock into the whole mi military simulation, so I think uh, this is pretty cool helmet for the uh, price. I believe it was something around uh, 23 bucks or something like that. I'm actually ordering three more right now for my team, so we all have the same look out there. Uh, so for the price, 23 dollars. Solid helmet. I've been hit a few times. It was good. It has, I don't know if you can tell, but um, it has the women in there for your head, so it's nice and comfortable. And uh, with the uh, Beat Force mask, uh, it works great. Highly recommend it for you uh, people who want to go for a squat look, military look out there, or just don't want to get hit in the head. Um, also, a, a few weeks ago, I talked about the uh, the crib by um, what's this homie uh, Stanky. Um, I didn't like the crib myself. I believe it was somewhere between thirty five and forty bucks uh, for the mil uh, military simulation guns out there. It just quite didn't fit. So, just to let you guys know, for twelve bucks, you know, just basic tool, something like this, you know, just to cut some PVC pipe in, uh, pretty much for uh, 12 bucks, you can put yourself together a nice gun rack from uh, PVC, um, I don't rock, I'm currently using the remote line out there, I don't usually have my 20 ounce tank on here like that, but just for a video presentation, just so you guys can see how it fits on here. Uh, just did that. Also, I don't use my scope out there. I use the 250 round um, popper as this gun has the uh, response trigger. So, you know, I like to, uh, I'm not going to do the whole response trigger right now because it's my neighbor's you know, but, uh, and my dog's too. But, anyways, um, for $12, you yourself can put together a nice gun rack. Obviously, everyone's guns differently. Uh, just take a measuring tape, take some measurements on how wide your gun is, how high off you want it. I did this sample with a 22 ounce, with a 20 ounce tank. I don't use, I carry my uh, tank on my back, but this is just something to show you. You can uh, use your box, you can put right in here. That way you can display your gun out there. I also just uh, recently found the uh, Krylon Camo Kit. So I will be sanding down this PVC piping down and uh, giving it a whole camo look and that way you can display your gun. 
And uh, if I have enough time, maybe I'll start painting my guns, doing a crazy uh, camel job. But um, anyways, thank you for watching.